Hi, I'll let you in on a secret. We cats say a lot just by using our ears, tail, eyes, and body posture. That's why I want you to be one of those people who can communicate with animals by reading our body movement and facial expressions. When I'm just chilling but not sleeping, I put on my neutral and relaxed pose. My ears are forward but relaxed and maybe just slightly to the side. They aren't perked forward or turned back. My tail is curved loosely towards my body and it's not twitching. If you look closely, you might be able to see an almond-shaped black center in my eye. My mouth is closed and my whiskers aren't perked forward or pulled back. Here's what I look like when I'm catching some Z's. I curl up in a ball. All the muscles in my face and body are relaxed. Some cats relax in some strange ways. Just like you, we don't like to be startled when we're sleeping. When you've just come home and I am happy to see you, I look something like this, relaxed but interested. When something piques my interest, I shift my weight forward a bit and lower my body. I might be ready to pounce on something or preparing myself to get the heck out of there. I perk my ears and whiskers forward and stare at what has my attention. Perhaps you just pulled out a new wand toy for me to chase. I might have my tail up and moving it gently, or resting on the ground and ticking slightly. Or, if I'm really excited by something, I might thrash my tail back and forth and my pupils might expand some. Okay, here's how I might look when nervous or afraid. Just like with excitement, there are different ways we act depending largely upon how upset we are. Four easy categories to remember are the four Fs. Fret or fidget, freeze, flight, and fight. It's no fun to be scared, especially when the people around us don't realize we're nervous about something. If you see these signs, take a look around and see if you can figure out what is concerning us. When we're fretting or fidgeting, we first avoid direct eye contact by ignoring you or turning our head away. If you'd like to interact with us, it's best to play hard to get and avoid eye contact with us. If I'm nervous, my whiskers go back slightly, closer to my cheeks, and my tail is closer to my body. If I'm irritated, I might flick the tip of my tail and my ears will go to the side slightly. My pupils may get larger and my eyes may look darker. I might even tuck down and turn to look at you as I pull my ears further to the side, tuck my tail closer. I begin to breathe harder, and if you watch my chest, you'll see it moving faster. If you see me completely freeze, I have become so frightened that I'm quite literally scared stiff. My pupils are large and I flatten my whole body down so my feet are tucked under me and my tail's likely curled up so tight I'm hugging myself with it. Pay attention because I can move through these stages pretty quickly. Flight takes place when I try to escape a situation. I might poof up my tail to make it look bigger. My ears are out to the side, and I try to back away while keeping my eyes on whatever is threatening me. If my previous attempts at communication haven't been received, I might speak even louder and escalate to a bigger shout. This is when people often label us as a bad cat, but we're just trying to tell you that we're afraid. At the fight stage, we might display defensive aggression. My ears, tail, and body are lowered. I lean away, ready to run if given the chance. I will probably hiss and show my teeth and try to strike out with a paw. Sometimes cats go unheard for so long that they learn offensive aggression. I lean forward. My ears and whiskers are forward or may tuck back slightly as I make my move. Meanwhile, my tail will drop down and slightly out in the back. I might wag it or flick it some. This isn't a sign that I am happy. I'll raise my back end higher by standing on my tiptoes as I approach. Please hear us before we get to this point. You now know what we look like when we are relaxed, happy, excited, and alert, as well as how we might communicate fear through fret or fidget, freeze, flight, or fight. When you know what to look for, you'll realize just how much we say to people on a daily basis. You'll be able to talk back to us in a way we understand and give us help when we need it.